Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell for more content. In today's video, I wanted to share with you an announcement that Power BI now allows native many to many relationships. And this is a huge step for Power BI because it allows you to not have to use the workaround of creating a distinct table to create relationships between tables that have non-distinct values. So I wanna take you through an example of how you set up a many to many relationship if you are using the new version of Power BI, which is July 2018 or onward, or if you're not using a new version, maybe you're using the report server version that doesn't have this new feature yet, I wanna show you how you can create a main to main relationship, um, basically how you would do in the past. So let me go ahead and show you the data. So we have table one and table two. Both tables have non-distinct values for this name. So you see that Ashley is listed here twice and Luke is listed here twice, we're in table one. Uh, that's kind of the same case. There are multiple records for Ashley and Luke. So basically, the way you set up a main to main relationship is you have to enable it in the preview features as of uh, July 2018. So if you come to options and preview features, I have composite models checked. So once you have that checked, you have to click OK and probably restart Power BI. And then once you do that, you can come to the relationship editor and you can now see this many to many relationship here. And if you double click on that, you can see that it is set up based on name with the cardinal cardinality of many to many. So I will go ahead and get rid of that just to walk through the entire thing. So when there's no relationship created, we can go to manage relationships and create a new relationship from table one to table two based on name. And it will automatically detect that is a many to many relationship. And it will give you this warning saying that the cardinality of this relationship is many to many because there might be some uh, performance issues based on this relationship. Um, but not to worry, if we go ahead and click OK, it'll create that relationship for us. And basically, we're able to create visualizations based on one table and slice based on the other perfectly normally like we would see if we had um, a uh, valid relationship set up. But in case you're not using the newest version of Power BI Desktop, let's go ahead and switch this setting off and I'll take you through how it was normally done in the past. So that is from preview features and I'll uncheck composite models. So it's gonna ask me to restart. So I will go ahead and uh, exit out and bring back um, another PBIX. So we'll let that load real quick. And once that's up, we're going to see that we're not gonna have a relationship and I will create a relationship based on the old way to do it. And we should get an error here when we try to join on name we see that you can cannot create a relationship based on these two columns because one of the columns must have unique values. So basically we can't create that main to main relationship. And we would have to come here and create a calculated table and we'll go to modeling, new table. And we'll basically have to create a calculated table of distinct values of one of those tables. So we'll call this distinct values. And we'll set this equal to, you can use the distinct function, you can use the values function, either will work. We'll create distinct of table one name. And creating that distinct table is gonna show us basically the distinct names from table one. And using that table in the middle of table one and table two, we can now create a relationship from table one to distinct values so we'll do that, Just table one, two distinct values. We can create a many to one relationship. And from table two, two distinct values, we'll create another many to one relationship. And that'll create a relationship from table one, two distinct values, and table two, two distinct values. So that's the way you have to do it if you're not using the most updated version. Uh, this was kind of a really long process, and especially when you have multiple tables that you have to join to other tables that don't have distinct values, then you have all of these intermediate tables all over your model. So imagine you have like 20 tables and you're trying to join them together, but you have to have an intermediate uh, table for each of those joins. It got really clunky really fast. So now the fact that you can create many to many relationships natively in Power BI is a huge upgrade, and it's definitely worth a round of applause for the Power BI development team. So if you like this tip, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next Power BI 3 Minutes tip.